Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia. Have you ever heard of the saying, you have not because you ask not? It is a scripture out of the Bible. Today we're going to be talking about advocating for yourself. Why is it so important to advocate for yourself and what this really means? I don't think we really think about self-advocacy, but self-advocacy is very important in getting our needs met in life and in our relationships especially, okay? But before we get started, my name is Sonia. Here on my channel, we have healthy discussions about life, love, dating, and relationships while promoting self-love and healing. Today is Self-Love Sunday, and I wanted to record this video because I did not know if I was going to be available for a live and I didn't want to schedule one, didn't make it and so on and so forth. So self-advocacy is self-love. And so we are going to talk about it. First though, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are passing through, thank you for passing through. I hope you like the content, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back family. So good to see you. And I was so happy to see you guys last week. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I appreciate you guys more than you ever know. Before we get into the topic of self-advocacy, let's check in. Okay. We're going to check in. Number one, what are you grateful for? Let's acknowledge our gratefulness. I'm grateful for a lot of things, but I am particularly grateful that my cough is gone. <laughs> I am feeling better and I am so happy about that. Number two, how have you celebrated yourself this week? Please make sure you check in with yourself and you celebrate yourself. How have you affirmed yourself, said you love yourself, done something kind for yourself, even if it was for five quick minutes? How have you done that this week? And if you you have it it's okay forgive yourself but work on making sure this week you're gonna show yourself some love okay and lastly but definitely not least have you asked yourself how you're feeling okay let's check in ask how we feel and have that conversation for to ourselves and, and make sure we're keeping in keeping in touch with the inner self right so do those things that'll be a common practice for our self-love sunday so let's get started on self-advocacy self-advocacy is a person's ability to communicate and express their needs. It's also your ability to negotiate your needs. You know, you as an individual should not be left behind in your relationships. And that is personal um, relationships such as friendships, romantic relationships, and your work. Okay. You yourself, including a relationship with yourself, because sometimes we're our own enemies, right? Um, the best thing for us to do is to be able to express what it is that we need. We as women as humans, as uh, employees, as codependents, because some of us are codependent, right? We are really good at determining what everyone else needs, what everyone else wants, and we're good at addressing those needs and making sure those needs are met for everyone else. But when it comes to us, we're silent. Self-advocacy requires that you advocate for yourself. It is so important that you learn to advocate for yourself and you learn to speak for yourself because in that conversation and in that advocacy, you get your needs met. When your needs are met, that makes you happier. It makes you feel loved, secure, seen, heard, appreciate it, right? We all want these things from our relationships. A lot of reasons why we don't feel that way is because we have not said what we wanted. We have not uh, negotiated what we wanted and we have not required standing in our power, right? We have not required that these are the needs for us to be in a relationship. Or be. When your needs are not being met, you become frustrated. You become angry, resentful, um, you feel unseen, unheard, unloved, unsecured. It causes so many problems. But when you are being met, when your needs are being met, you feel loved, you feel comforted, you feel seen, you feel everything comes together. You feel happiness. You feel filled. Your cup is filled. Because although it's important that you take care of yourself when you are in partnership, it is also important that their partner does their due diligence, right? Your partner has to do their due diligence in this relationship with you so that you feel like your needs are being met so you can show up as your best self so you want to be there and you want to love on them too right so needs are very important self-advocacy helps you get your needs met so let's talk about how to get our needs met this won't be a detailed video if you want a more detailed video let me know or we can talk about it next sunday on live so how do we get our needs met 
Let's start with this. Number one, you need to know what your needs are. You really need to be completely honest with yourself and say what your needs are from your partnerships, your workplace, whatever it is that you feel a lack. What are your needs? Okay. You need to know that. And then you need to know why you have these needs. If it's affection, communication, time, whatever it is, why is that important to you? And in that, that way, when you go to have this conversation, you can communicate concisely and clearly what it is that you need. You won't feel insecure about it. Plus it keeps you grounded and it reminds you that you are important enough to have these needs met because you know your why. Your why is important. I feel loved and you want to feel loved in a relationship. I feel seen and you want to feel seen in a relationship. I feel heard and we all want to feel heard in a relationship. These things are vital. So don't write it off. You know what you need and you know why. So that is where we start. Next, you're going to communicate to your partner. But before you do, you have to check your energy. Make sure you come across approachable, pleasant, vulnerable, and open. When you come across aggressive and extremely assertive, it's a turnoff and you put the other person on the defense. So let the person know, you know, I really need to talk. I have some concerns. Don't just say, I need to talk to you. I really need to talk. I have concern some concerns. But lately, we haven't been spending a lot of time together and I miss you and I want to be next to you. And I feel like we're not connecting on an intimate level. So can we make some time together? That's so much better than you spend all your time with your friends. You don't want to spend time. That causes strife. We don't want to cause strife. We want this to be a peaceful, safe environment, right? Then you express yourself, express why this is important to you, what your needs are. And also don't forget to ask your person, what is it that they need, right? Um, if there is a disconnect. Now, this shouldn't be a time for a tick, tick, tick for tat. This is purely us trying to get our needs met. Stick to the goal. We just want to get our needs met. We want to feel happy. We want a healthy relationship. That's what we're working on. So for you, remember this is about self-love. You feel happier. You feel loved. You feel cared for. You feel secure. Just remember that if those are your reasons, whatever your reasons are. Okay. So let's ask for what we want. Let's be clear, genuine, respectful, honest, and vulnerable. Okay. Those are the keys. And make sure this is a safe conversation. This is not a tip for tat. If they are saying, well, you know, it's been difficult for me to be around you because you've been in a bad mood. Don't get upset. Hear what they have to say. And express what is really going on with you. We don't communicate in relationships. We have to do a better job about communicating what's going on with us. Okay. So that's it for tonight's episode. Guys, remember to use your voice. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be seen. You deserve to have your needs met. You have to know that. Be confident in that. Okay? Be sure of that. Make sure you understand what you deserve as a human being and as a person and as the child of your creator. Okay? That is very important. Okay? During this week, make sure you take care of yourself. You love on yourself. You do something good for yourself holistically. I will see you guys here next week. Please don't forget to love yourself for who you are. I hope you are enjoying your family and friends. If you are celebrating the holidays, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.